The new Rafale assembly line is critical for boosting production to meet booming orders. But both the line and those orders also figure heavily in what comes next. I'm Saurabh Joshi, this is Stratpost TV. And in this edition of Flightline, we look at the path to an advanced Rafale and how the new line also plays into the larger drama over Europe's next-gen fighter, F-Gas. Dassault is already planning the Rafale F-5, an upgrade that will fly the aircraft well into the future. The F-5 will integrate the nuclear-capable ASN-4G hypersonic missile, improve engine performance, enhance stealth, add advanced sensors and data fusion, and enable manned-unmanned teaming with loyal wingman drones. Conformal fuel tanks will expand range. Networking upgrades will strengthen connectivity. The costs will run into billions. But the payoff is keeping Rafale competitive against next-generation threats. The new assembly line will help Dassault deliver faster, strengthen credibility with current customers, and keep Rafale attractive to new buyers, all of whom are potential F5 operators. No Air Force wants to wait a decade for its new fighters. The immediate risks are practical. Can Dassault actually manage its supply chain to meet booming demand? Longer term, can Dassault fund Rafale F5 development while also keeping FGAS alive? Because the European Future Combat Air System, or FGAS, is faltering. France, Germany and Spain are supposed to co-develop a sixth-generation fighter. But Dassault and Airbus remain locked in disputes over work share and program leadership. Germany has even set a December deadline to sort out disagreements. The fighter alliance could collapse by the end of the year as Dassault threatens to walk away. That's why it's also a power move in Europe's fighter politics. By demonstrating sovereign capability, France shows Germany and Spain that if FCAS doesn't work out, it has the means to go it alone. In the next episode, we dive into this FCAS drama and find out why it feels like deja vu. I'm Saurabh Joshi and this was Flightline on Stratpost TV. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe wherever you're watching this.